I'm Scott L. Miller. It is the 20th of January, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua, and it is Friday morning. I'm recording this actually Friday morning, and uh, I'm getting ready to head out in just a few minutes. Paul's gonna drive me out to Casa Mango, where I'm gonna be doing photography for April. It is her new Airbnb property in El Centro. And so that is my, I have a really busy work day going out, doing that, and then I'll be coming back and getting videos uploaded and doing my office work and everything. So it's gonna be a busy, busy, busy day, but I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and something interesting. So hopefully I'll have uh, some stuff from that to show you guys. So I'm just, I wanted to get started on the day and we're heading off to Casa Mango now. Let's go. All right, I'm here in Casa Mango in El Centro, Leon, Nicaragua. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty excited. Sometime on Central American Living, April and I are gonna do a before and after so you can see what it was like purchasing an old colonial in the center of the city. Uh, and what it looked like and, and what that process was like. And then we can talk about the construction and show the after side by side. We're not gonna do that today. Today, I'm just gonna show you the after. So you can see, cause Casa Mango goes, um, I'm filming this on the 20th, I believe. And yes, and um, so it's actually about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning on the 20th. Uh, right after I shot the, the early morning, that was about an hour ago, and uh, I'm going to show you because they uh, opened for Airbnb traffic today as the first day. It's not full because it's a three unit uh, apartment here uh, in the middle of the city. So um, we'll show on the map where it is and explain there's a hotel directly next door. Uh, and I'll show the street real quickly. Here you can see we're actually inside the door. So you can see we are here. I'm actually going to put the camera out the door. This is kind of stupid if someone grabbed this. Uh, I mean, there's no one around, but <laughs> that would be, that'd be a little bit foolish. So we're gonna start uh, on one side and just walk through. And then the there's, there's two large units here on this side, and then you have to go outside and there's a studio apartment on the other side. So it's three separate Airbnb, B, Airbnb units. This is the common room. Let's start up here. Uh, this used to be connected. So it's one building, uh, but the studio is over there. And so this is a little bit dark. This is normal for a front room. You want it a little bit darker uh, here in Nicaragua because uh, you get a lot of sunlight, a lot of noise in the morning. So you want to be a little bit of separation from the street and the outdoors. And we're going to walk forward. We're going to come to this, what you're looking at in front of you in just a little bit. I'm going to show this is all of this. This was everything. Everything you see is new. Um, even most of the walls. April did all this design. And uh, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at all this. Now this is two pools in here. Normally if you're gonna buy this as a house for yourself, you wouldn't put in two pools, but because this is Airbnb with separate units, each unit has its own pool, not the studio, uh, but the other two with a waterfall. I'll walk around the outside area first. Look at this. I have lots of photos of this on my Flickr feed too, if you want to see like uh, high res uh, pictures of everything. Oh, we do have a grasshopper. It is the season for the grasshoppers around here. Our house in Sutiava is just covered in them. Now, this is, before we go too much into this, the hammocks, very standard here. This is gorgeous, by the way, I love. I, orange is my color for those who don't know. So all the oranges and yellows, this is exactly my colors for things. Got a great outdoor oven here. This whole, like you wanna do grilling and barbecuing. Uh, this comes down, you just grab one of the hooks and take it right down so this becomes a big open area. Uh, got the dining room table plus eat-in kitchen, right side by side, very open. This beautiful modern kitchen. Everything is brand new. This is opening today. So none of this, obviously the house has been here for hundreds of years, but no one has lived in this new design ever. No one's rented it, no one's anything. So this is completely, completely new. Now we have, we have two bedrooms here. We're gonna come right into. So this room has, try to show everything. Everything's air conditioned. You can see that up above. And but you really don't need the air condition most of the time. You'd want these windows open that's screened here, right? So you get all this fresh air and uh, the sound of the pool right out there. Modern bathroom. This is a lot more, I was commenting to April, this is a lot more like what you would find in Antigua, Guatemala. This is not, it's not unheard of here in Nicaragua, not unheard of in Leon, but this is very, very much immediately strikes you as uh, what Guatemala um, living is like, uh, and so these, these designs just reminiscent. Of course, this is all one region, so not too, not too different. And uh, 
certainly a completely Nicaraguan flair. So this is the master, obviously, with the king bed and the full in the other room. And when it's open, you can see all the way straight through that is the dining table right there. And we're back at the pool. We're gonna come out and zip around to the other side. This is fantastic. April did such an amazing job with this. I'm so excited to get to see it because I got to see it when she first bought it and I saw it during construction, but I didn't have a chance to come in and uh, take a look at all of it uh, until today. Um, and I was supposed to be here yesterday, but I couldn't make it. And so we've been struggling to get in and do pictures. So I'm here today with my camera, with my Olympus, and with both GoPros and the iPhone. And so we're going around taking a range of different types of pictures. Uh, and I wanted to get the video for you guys as well because this is really exciting to be able to show uh, for you. And this is this is available for rent, so this is a real thing. We've, we've had like a week of showing things that are really available. Um, so this is just this is great footage. All right, so we're gonna go down this walkway. I love these colors. I love this the bright design. So gorgeous. And that is a big yellow hammock directly in front of us. water tank on the roof there outdoor shower outdoor showers on both sides different style barbecue out here and this one has the smaller pool and then the other one had the outdoor kitchen dining room this one has the indoor kitchen dining room i'm gonna try not to fall in the pool as i do this so this is a laundry room here it's actually really cute as a laundry room all right we got the kitchen so again eat in kitchen Full modern, no one has used it yet. Uh, regular kitchen, and then we turn around and we have an enclosed. So notice this is all glass, oh, it's open right now, but this is all glass. So you can close this up and air condition this space and keep this nice and cool. So if you are looking for a little bit less of an outdoor feel, because so much here in Leon is built around being outdoors all the time. So having some indoor options is, is nice. So we got the full kitchen and then this really comfy living room here. Everything with big TVs and internet. I'll give you a view. Pool from the, from the living room. And heading in to one of the two bedrooms. I'm gonna turn around a little bit just so you can see the, the cool antique furniture. I don't think it's real antique. Maybe a real antique, I don't really know. All right, and this bathroom, again, very modern. This one, windows up here, all these cool lights. Now this is an actual colonial, right? So big bathtub here, plus the big glass shower. Uh, these are actual colonials, right? We're in the middle of the city. This is, uh, so air conditioning up here, second bedroom. And has a king so it's really important to note these colonial structures there's very little opportunity to make changes in these structures the roofs the floors the main walls the pillars they all have to remain exactly as is and so you have to do um, everything you do has to work around uh, where those structures are and so uh, it adds uh, a lot to the city that you have this uh, variation of everything, um, that you have this opportunity for this uh, kind of forced standardization and classic style. Uh, and you see the same thing in like Antigua, Guatemala. Um, but it also means that you have to work around a lot of stuff. So it's a lot more challenging, uh, but it adds a lot of interest because you can't just take an American approach uh, where you do in most places and just wipe everything out, put something new in and it all looks the same. Here, everything has to be done in a very uh, uh, special way. and. So you get a lot of really unique takes and you get some things that are kind of standard but are, are really beautiful and you don't find in the US very much or if you do they're artificial like the glass enclosure with the uh, classic colonial pillars behind them um, which, is, which is really really neat. I also really like, I gotta spin around and show these all the street lights along this walkway. Very very cute. All right. All right, we're gonna zip over to the other side and show the studio real quickly. Uh, that is a loft studio, and I, wait until you see the before and after pictures on that one, really interesting. All right, we're over at the studio. We're gonna go on in, and I'm just gonna show you as we go. All right, again, this is the same colonial structure, just outside entrance as we come over. So living room, little seating room here. Remember, this is a studio, but this is a lot of, see, you can still entertain here. See, the, this is the bathroom open right from, I'm gonna turn around and show you the street. So we're right here on the street. 
where I just came in from. I'll give you a little view out here. And you can see the matching door next door for where we just were. And uh, can I come in and check out the kitchen? Now, no oven in here, but you do have a range top fridge. You can do some basic cooking. Gorgeous little shower and tiles here. Little bath. Now swing around, try not to get me in the mirror. And there are doors here. Bathroom is not open all the time. Not open when you use it. Now I am gonna go up the stairs. I don't know if I'm gonna go up the stairs with you guys with me or not. Now this unit, uh, it's important to mention, high ceilings but not air conditioned. So you got lots of fans up there and ceiling fans. Lots of open air fans down here. You can open the air to the street and get a ton of air in here, but not air conditioned. So if that's something you need, that's gonna be a thing. So we're gonna come around. We're gonna go up these stairs, which I have navigated before. Not a big deal, except this time I'm doing it on camera uh, and that's a bit different, right? So. I did fall off the sidewalk the other day on the show. Um, I did not die. So uh, fingers crossed that this works out too. I mean, we made it to the top. It's going down. That's hard. I'm, I'm not going to record that. All right. We're going to turn around and show you guys the loft. So we got two twin beds up or two full beds up here. Got the fans. You can see this classic colonial ceiling and that used to go through over there. That's where it used to be. So this is, this would be a really comfy way to stay and see Leo Nicaragua, if you don't need a lot of space, but still want something really modern and classic and in the middle of the city. And uh, you can see the stairs right there, the living room. All right. All right, that is our tour here of Casa Mango. You're gonna be able to find them. I'll put all the links below uh, so that you can, you can see the official site and information uh, for yourself. But we're right here in El Centro and I put up a map uh, and uh, you can check it out. That's not the best light for the video when, I, when I'm up here. So we're gonna head out and do the rest of the day. I've got a lot of photography to do. So we're gonna go do that on to the next thing. Okay, so we're doing the first time that I'm doing a video by the studio light. This is the new studio light that I just got. So I'm just experimenting with it. I have a dog running around because she's a little bit upset that I'm talking in the house. And um, I didn't have any time. I'm behind on the videos. So after we did uh, the tour of Casa Mango, uh, I came home and I, ha I had to rush home because I had so many meetings lined up in the evening. So I did that um, for a few hours. And then uh, we went out for dinner. So April... Uh, met me at Sundance and then uh, Paul and Dominica met us there and uh, we did dinner. Uh, April took me out to dinner to uh, uh, thank me for uh, doing all the photos today and the videos and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed getting to see the house. She did such a great job with that. It's really cool. And we're going to show a lot more of that in the future. This is just the start of it. We, we had to rush through because it had just opened and it's already rented. So we had very little window to get anything recorded. Uh, before it could be done. Uh, so we did dinner at Sundance and it was another, so I had a, uh, a video about this a few weeks ago about the restaurants that have none of the stuff that they're supposed to have on their menus, how everything is just out all the time. And it's so frustrating that you go and you're like, okay, I'm looking forward to the salmon and then they don't have the salmon. Okay, well, then I'm going to get the shrimp. Oh wait, they don't have the shrimp. And you're just like, okay, and eventually there's nothing for you to eat or you're like, you're getting like fish fingers, right? Because it's the only thing they have. That stuff is super frustrating. And tonight, April and I are like, okay, we're going to Sundance. And why are we going to Sundance? Because they have cocktails. They have some of the best cocktails in town. It's an opportunity to get cocktails. So she got there early. I'm like, order me a Negroni. She texts me, they're out of Negronis. So I'm like, oh, they're like out of the stuff. I'm like, okay, give me an old fashioned. So by the time I get there, she's like, they're like, yeah, we don't have old fashions either. And I, like I went through like three different things. I'm like, what do you have? I'm like, okay, we have blue Hawaii's and, and pina coladas. I'm like, whatever. So I got a flight of Blue Hawaii's, three Blue Hawaii's, because that's how they sell them here, right? You get three in a pack for a deal. That's like, okay, so three Blue Hawaii's, we had dinner. Um, I just went for salad because um, the, the, the one thing that they do there is fish tacos, and they're pretty good, right? So I'm not knocking their fish tacos, but their fish tacos aren't as good as our fish tacos at the house that Yao makes, our chef. And so I'm like, why would I get fish tacos anywhere? And, and at a pretty, pretty good price, um, when I could get them for super cheap, much better at home and customize them however I want and get as much as I want and get whatever with it I want. And it just, so I got a Caesar salad, which, which, which really did hit the spot. I was, I was happy to get a salad. Um, but that was it. So it was just three blue Hawaii's and a salad <laughs> for dinner. Um, and then we were all like, you know what, let's go, let's go out to Via Via because, um, our friend, uh, Franklin is playing tonight with a new band. 
uh, and we wanted to see them. I'm not, I don't think it's a new band, but a band that has not played in a while and we've not seen as a band. And so we went out to Via Via and hung out until, um, until decently late uh, watching them. And I got some footage for you guys uh, so you can, see, you can see them playing. Um, so it was a nice evening of dinner and a band out at Via Via and, uh, and drinks there. So... <laughs> That was our evening. Um, Alan and Anna came and joined us there. And then Jazzy, who uh, is a viewer of the show, joined us as well. So we had a pretty good group hanging out at Via Via for the concert. It was it was nice. It was very fun. Um, I hope we get to see that band again. I hope that they put that group together more often. Um, I think some of the guys had to come up from Managua, so it was like kind of a big thing. Uh, so that was our evening. It was a fun day, and I hope you enjoyed that. And sorry for having to do a nighttime recording in the studio, but I did want a chance to play with uh, this. Um, I'm really glad now. Uh, so the short has already gone up and I'm recording this just after the short. Uh, my studio light, my tripod, my GoPro 11, um, a whole bunch of the stuff that I'm using to make the show. All of that is um, now import and export restricted in Nicaragua. It doesn't mean you can't have it. Um, we're still learning what it's going to mean. Um, it does not pose any problem for the stuff I already have. It's here. It's not an issue with what you have brought in. It's it's now crossing the border with it in the future. Um, is going to be a problem. Um, and it's not that I can't get more, but realistically, I can't cross the border with anything going out. And so uh, that's going to be very difficult for me because when we travel, I can't take any cameras at all. And when you're a filmmaker, um, that's a problem, right? It's not like I'm going on vacation and, oh, I just need to take a few pictures. I want to have my... You, you can mostly make do with your phone. Can't even think of doing that for what I do, right? It's not even close. So I'm, I want to do a video about some of that stuff for travel, the equipment and, and why we use what we do and, and the things you need. But that the lights, the lenses, the tripods are are on the list it's like what like i get it it's, it's it's a cinema making list right it's not it's not like a restriction of like these are really controlled substances or anything it's just that these are tools of a trade that we're restricting and um and, and that's going to make things difficult and there's every possibility that things like the iphone pro is going to end up on that list because it's cinema equipment right apple markets it as cinema equipment well why do you need the pro because it's the cinema one right um, and that, like, that's what Paul has, right? So is he going to have a problem with that? Probably not, but could. Would my Olympus make it across the border? Probably. It's not on any specific list, but it's just like stuff on the list. So who knows? Um, so it's definitely going to take a while to figure out. But the GoPro 11 was named specifically. So, yep, that's going to be a little bit interesting because uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing travel in the near future. I take it when I go to, to Costa Rica, which we do regularly. We'll... That's, that's a big deal. This is an immediate problem that I have to solve and figure out. So, yeah, um, that's, that's my frustration um, for the future on the day that I'm recording this. All right, thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions. Get down there in those comments. Let's discuss it. Talk about your travel and all those things and the houses. And, and we've shown a lot of houses this week. I hope people are liking that. If you want to support the channel, uh, we need extra help now. Things are going to get a lot more complicated um, because obviously I have to probably keep two sets of, of camera gear, one outside the country and one in. You can support the channel through buymecoffee.com slash Scott Al Miller. I'll put it on the screen. Link is in the description as always. And uh, share with your friends. Put it on social media. I will see all of you. And we have a special episode tomorrow because my aunt asked uh, that I show more of the flowers and some of you asked for more music. So we're doing a completely different kind of episode tomorrow. And I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>